So in this video, I'm gonna put your ears to the test with three unique exercises. And these exercises will sharpen your ears and make you more aware of how visuals impact your mixing. So in the first exercise, I'm gonna play with a vocal and boost a certain part of the frequency range, but I will not tell you where, and at the same time, the screen will be completely black so that you can focus solely on the sound because our eyes often play tricks on us when we're mixing, especially when we see EQ curves and meters moving on the screen. So here's the challenge. When the screen goes black, listen closely to the vocal and try to identify where I'm making this EQ boost. Is it in the low end, the lower mids, the upper mids, or the highs? And for those who wanna make things a bit more difficult, try guessing roughly what frequency I'm boosting as well. So I'm turning off the screen in three, two, one. A mask of poppy petals, a mask of poppy petals, the smell of opium, the smell of opium. So just drop a comment below with your guess. And today I'm rewarding one of you guys with a free 60 minute coaching session. So all you have to do is to let me know what you thought what's going on with that vocal. So in the second part, I'm gonna take things a bit further and see if I can trick you. And this time, I might add compression to this vocal, or I may not, and you will not know. So what I'll do here is I will play you a vocal and I'll show you something on the screen at the same time. And your job is to find out if what you're seeing on the screen is actually happening. If you write yes in the comments below, it means you think I'm actually doing what you're seeing on the screen. And if you write no, it means you think I'm fooling you and not doing anything. And this is a really good test for those times when we might be convinced we hear a difference just because we see something on the screen. All right, so I'm adding a compressor to the vocal and 1176 on slow attack and fast release. And here is how it sounds with compression. A mask of poppy petals, the smell of opium. And now bypassed. A mask of poppy petals, the smell of opium. And one last time, let's put it back again. A mask of poppy petals, the smell of opium. But the big question is, did I actually do this or did I simply trick you and not put any compression on at all? One could argue that the first two exercises were more like challenges. However, the third and final exercise is more like a pure exercise. Something I used to do and spend a lot of time doing at the beginning of my career, training my ears to recognize different parts of the frequency range, just like a musician would do with pitch. So you start by picking any frequency range in any EQ, and then you go for a fairly narrow Q value, you know? Not all the way, but fairly narrow, and you boost all the way up. And then you scan in this way through any piece of music, and you try to see what's happening in there. Over time, you will start to recognize different patterns. You know, where are generally the painful frequencies and the muddy ones and the sweet ones? And, and the more you do this, the more aware you will be about what's going on within the song. And try to do this with your eyes closed sometimes and with your eyes open sometimes to get different experiences. Because when you close your eyes and you focus on feeling the frequencies more, you will train your subconscious mind. And even though the two first ones were more like experiments, all of them can be used as an exercise. You know, you can do them regularly. You know, for example, have somebody do blind tests on you to see if you can spot what's happening within a track.